All right, in this video, we're going to do a quick unboxing of Nemo's War from Victory Point Games, a game designed by Chris Taylor. This was kickstarted, God, a long time ago. It took a long time uh, for it to arrive, um, several months late, but hey, better late than never. So if you're familiar with Victory Point games, um, their games are usually pretty mechanically solid, but their components are, you know, nothing to write home about. This is a deluxe version of this game, so to speak, uh, version two, and it looks really cool. So let's get on with it, open it up, and as Derek Case would say, take a look at the goodies inside. Um, other things that were actually in the box that were shipped to me were uh, these two bags. Uh, these are for chit pulls. Uh, for probably for different chips that we're going to encounter and another smaller bag here I can't quite make out what that is. I'm sure it's something obvious, but for some reason it escapes me And then it came with I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but this cool little see if I can get in here do 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 Enamel pin that says Nemo's war. I know uh, it's been a while since I've done this. There we go so Let's open it up uh, in the past, you know, the Victory Point Games uh, line has uh, used lasers to cut their tokens and everything had a burnt smell and everything was covered with soot and you'd have to wipe it off with a provided kitschy napkin, but it would get all over your cards and your rules and not cool. So hopefully this will be better than those. So rule book, glossy paper. Very glossy, lots of examples, very full color. I have a PDF of this, um, but I didn't read it completely prior to this unboxing. So um, really, really nicely, really well done, really, way uh, really uh, <clears throat> excuse me, well laid out and uh, lots of examples, all good stuff. An epilogue book which you read uh, based on the outcome of the game with the epilogue of what happened, you know, to give you more of a narrative. Uh, just based on uh, what I have seen of the art, um, looks very immersive game, which is kind of cool. Um, I know there's been some complaints about the counters, that they're too thin. Um, I did not grab one of my other counters, like a GMT counter, but I don't know. These look pretty standard to me. I don't see what the issue is, but they look pretty much maybe a hair thinner than GMTs, but all for the most part, all really nice. All nice counters. Different vessels. All nice. I'm sure these will punch. These might not punch too great. It's really hard to see, but on the edges, on the left and right edge, you can see right in here. I see that little bit right there, and then on the other side over there, that's not going to punch great. So that might require some extra love when I punch these out, or maybe even a hobby knife like this. That's a box cutter, but some kind of hobby knife or something. Oh, really? I mean, I think the counters are really nice. I mean, I don't know what people are talking about. I mean, you can see that thickness right there. I, that's fine. I think people are making a big brouhaha over nothing. A really nice board. We're going to come back to that later because it's really big. Let's see what else we got in here. A little catalog of other games that you can buy. Another sheet of some counters. These ones are kind of unique here to keep track of health I think and not your health but your your uh, overall ship health and things like that um, all nice some d6s a couple of wooden cubes and things some plastic jewel tokens to keep track of things again nothing really to write home about a nice insert um, come back to this and of course it comes a little miniature here 
to keep track of where you are in the game, you know, on the board. I suppose you could paint that. I'm not a painter of minis, so I probably won't. Uh, let's look at some of the cards while we're at it. Now, Victory Point Games cards, again, nothing to write home about at all. I assume this is going to be a step up. Well, they're a little thin. A little thin. Not horrible. Uh, but they are, if you can make that out, they are linen finished, which is nice. Definitely a nice touch. But they are pretty thin. But, again, these are probably going to be sleeved. I paid a lot for this game, as I'm sure some of you are well aware of. Um, that this game wasn't cheap. So, definitely will uh, sleeve these things. These are different event cards, really nice artwork. For the most part, minimalist. It isn't too crowded. Pass fail conditions. All the art is inspired from the novel. Very Victorian age kind of feel. There he is. All great. Even includes quotes at the bottom from the novel, if you've ever read it. If you haven't, you should. Lots of event cards. Put those down. So yeah, I mean, these cards are a little thinner than usual, but they're better stock than usual Victory Point games. Uh, VPG doesn't use linen cards usually. Um, but uh, again, I'm gonna sleeve these, so these will be um, kept in good condition. Different acts, more event cards. I don't want to look too. I don't want to look too much at this because I don't want to spoil it for myself. Because this is somewhat narrative, and I'd hate to ruin it for me. Throw those there. Some explore cards. These are different. Uh, these explore. These are different um, explore cards. What am I talking about? <laughs> these cards here are for you to upgrade your. Nautilus with different types of technology like reinforced armor and steam torpedoes and double hulls and they give you special abilities and of course there's a cost involved with adding those and these are so these are cards for co-op play um, I don't know if I'm ever gonna play this game co-op maybe my daughter someday I don't know probably not but um, this game, although is for solitaire, it does include uh, two to four player co-op rules. So there's that. Now let's reset this and show you the map. All right, here's the board all laid out. It's, I can't get the whole thing in the shot. It's really, really wide. Um, it takes up almost the entire width of my table, but over here is a draw pile area, there's a pass area, an area for failed, um, failed cards. Here are these tracks where you track the health of the Nemo, health of the crew, and their, your health of your hull, as it were. Not health, but you know what I mean, hit points and damage and things like that. Um, there are success tables over here to the side, just out of camera range. This is the main area of the map with how much action points you have and different ships, areas that you'll encounter in different uh, regions of the world, regions, oceans. Uh, turn sequence over here. A um, whole bunch of other areas for uh, different ships and things like that that you're, you're going to encounter in different oceans. And you're tracking how much tonnage you're trying to sink. Because, um, you know, Nemo was, you know, kind of a bad guy, right? But the board is super duper nice. Um, wow. I mean, this board is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, it's really nice. Uh, the bindings here, the, the, the seams, a little wonky, but that's okay. Um, but really, really super nice. I lost my Nautilus. Where'd he go? Here he goes. But really, really nice. I'm really happy. Um, I spent a lot for this, and I intend to play this, hopefully, very, very soon. I'm not sure when I'm going to get to it, uh, but hopefully soon. And... Maybe do a review on it, we'll see. It's been a while since I've done anything. Real life's been getting in the way. Maybe I'll do a video of that soon. As you can see, uh, 
I think well worth the wait. Um, I think Victory Point Games did a really great job of presenting the game like this and upping the ante uh, with a much higher quality game than what they've been put out in the past and what we're used to. Now, I think they need to do this going forward to compete with companies like Fantasy Flight and Asmodee and Space Cowboys and all these other companies that are making really high quality looking products. Now granted, they're in a different market in competing with those companies, but component wise and quality wise, they really need to up their game. And this is definitely uh, a, a great first step in that direction. So that's it. That is Nemo's War unboxing. Thanks for watching. That's how you do it. That's how you do an unboxing. Um, you know, you can see a tripod here and junk behind me in my apartment, but that's how you do it. You just kind of talk your way through it and, you know, I'm opening up the box for the first time. I suppose had I read the rules first, um, I probably would have been better equipped to uh, talk about what certain things are. Um, but hey, that's fine. And uh, what went in here? I'll put the bags in here and that in there. But uh, I mean, I think there's a, a lot of people don't like unboxing videos. I'm not sure why. I know some people who have channels, they hate doing them. They think it's stupid, but whatever. Some people like to see what's inside, you know? They see it kind of in the in the you know in the review videos and they want to see what's involved and what's inside the box how it's all presented as opposed to just being dumped out on a table so uh what goes next let's see let's put the counters in next i suppose let's throw those in there but yeah we we're talking about you know counter thickness yeah i mean it's a little warped i know but no it's not a people making a big whoop de do about nothing it's, these are fine absolutely fine but uh, this board is off the hook. I mean, it's really, really nice. Text is a little small, maybe, because um, when I'm playing, I have to take my glasses off, but and keep it really close to me, you know, really up close to the edge of the table. Um, so I have to get bifocals. I'm not ready for that. But really, really nice job. Super duper nice. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And hopefully, you know, I'll be able to do some more review videos as we go forward. Um, I'm taking a long, long break. And uh, this will definitely hit my table really soon. And uh, maybe I can do a review of it. We'll see how it goes. Emo's War.